Do you suffer from acid reflux? High LDL cholesterol? Constipation? Overweight? Acne? Do you feel heavy and tired right after eating? You might want to consider reducing your animal product intake, especially if you care about the impact that this has on our planet. Let's take a look at five important reasons for us to start cutting down on our animal product consumption, but also at five incentives to help us start reducing their intake. Five important reasons to start reducing our animal products intake. First reason, biologically speaking, we don't need to consume animal products as often as we may think. Our anatomy and digestive process seems to show that human beings are primarily herbivores. The length of our intestines is between 7 to 13 times the length of our torso, which is a distinctive sign of herbivores. Carnivores have a very short intestinal tract so that they can get rid fast of all the rotten corpses they've ingested. Our teeth are pretty much flat, and our beautiful canines would probably not be able to pierce a live animal. Our fingers and nails seem more appropriate for harvesting fruits, vegetables, grains and legumes, rather than for killing and ripping apart cattle, hogs, birds and fish. Second reason, cruelty and low quality. The majority of animal products come from factory farms where abusive confinement is customary. Female pigs are confined indefinitely in small spaces where they cannot turn around or lie down comfortably, even during pregnancy and giving birth. Hens are confined in tiny wire cages where they cannot stretch or flap their wings. Male baby chickens, they are grinded alive. Calves, raids for veal, are kept in their four to five months' lives alone, tied in stalls where they cannot turn around. Factory farm animals have their bodies mutilated without being given pain-relieving drugs or anesthesia. Producers castrate male animals by slicing open their scrotum and ripping their testicles out. Cows and pigs' tails and chickens' beaks are cut off using a heated scissor-like tool. Cows and sheep have their horns removed by a hot iron or caustic chemicals. Many farmers brand their animals for identification using a hot iron to burn an animal's skin, causing a second or third degree burn. Cows used for their milk are artificially impregnated over and over again. Calves are dragged away from their mothers immediately after they are born. Mother cows will frantically search and call for their babies while being connected to a machine that sucks their nipples until mastitis, pus and bleeding occurs. On top of that, factory animals are fed the lowest quality of grains and garbage that are not their natural diet. So they can survive the filthy conditions and grow even faster, some industries feed their animals antibiotics and hormones. And that, my friends, is conventional milk and conventional meat. We have to remember, we are what we eat. Third reason, major diseases. Studies have shown that societies that consume the most animal protein have the most osteoporosis, heart attacks, cholesterol, asthma and cancer. A recent study from Harvard School of Public Health has found that red meat consumption is associated with an increased risk of total cardiovascular and cancer mortality. The massive 120,000 subject 28 year study showed that people who consumed a serving of beef, pork or lamb per day had a 13% increased risk of death compared with people who ate very little or no meat. Those who ate a daily serving of processed meat, such as bacon or hot dogs, had a 20% increased risk. Fourth reason, cost. Eating factory farmed meat is cheaper than certified organic, but as we touched on before, and since you are what you eat ate, you are better off eating grass-fed meat. But grass-fed meat is very expensive and hard to find. By cutting your meat consumption, you'll be doing your health and your wallet a big favor. Fifth reason, and for me the most important, sustainability. Did you know that it takes 2,500 gallons of water to raise one pound of beef? That 477 gallons of water are required to produce one pound of eggs? That 900 gallons of water are needed for one pound of cheese? That animal agriculture is responsible for 33% of all fresh water consumption in the world today? Animal agriculture is the leading cause of species extinction, ocean dead zones, water pollution, and habitat destruction. Every minute, 7 million pounds of excrement are produced by animals raised for food in the US. And for every pound of fish caught, up to 5 pounds of unintended marine species are cut and discarded as by kill. We could see fishless oceans by 2048. 
10,000 entire species are wiped out every year because of the actions of one species. We are now facing the sixth mass extinction in cosmological history. It's up to us to reduce our consumption today. We might be able to revert such damage. You can find more data about this on the website of one of the most important films I have ever seen called Cowspiracy at www.cowspiracy.com slash facts. And now the good news. Five incentives for you to reduce your animal food intake. One. Do you think you'll be missing your protein? Well, protein does not only exist in meat. Look at gorillas, one of our closest genetic relatives. They are naturally vegetarian and one of the strongest animals on the planet. Protein is in leafy greens, vegetables, sea vegetables, grains, beans, legumes, nuts, and seeds. For instance, one cup of lentils has 18 grams of protein, one cup of black beans, 15 grams, one cup of chickpeas, 12 grams, One cup of quinoa, 9 grams. Two tablespoons of peanut butter, 9 grams. And one ounce of almonds, 6 grams. Just to name a few. 2. You think you won't be satisfied? Think twice. A good, well viared diet containing leafy greens, whole grains, beans, nuts, seeds, fruits, and sea vegetables can be very satisfying. Plus, you can enjoy the old traditions you always had with your family and friends by making just a few substitutions. For instance, replace cow's milk with almond milk, rice milk or coconut milk and cheese with vegan cheese made out of nuts. The meat patty of your hamburgers with a veggie or black bean patty. Chicken enchiladas with bean and guacamole enchiladas. Steak with a big portobello mushroom. Breaded chicken with breaded eggplant. And craving tacos? Try replacing the meat with tempeh, cauliflower, lentils, chickpeas, grilled peppers, onions and avocado. The possibilities are endless. Salads, soups, desserts, smoothies, juices, casseroles. You just won't get enough. If you want more recipes for inspiration, visit my Pinterest account. Incentive number three. Think about how much your body needs a break. Our stomach acid lacks the concentration of predator's stomach acid, so digesting meat for us is a little bit difficult. Animal foods move through sluggishly and that's why it takes so long to digest them. This causes the buildup of unhealthy bacteria, toxic byproducts, and acid. So, by cutting your animal intake, you will have less toxins, less mucus formation, less exposure to their hormones and antibiotics, less chances of developing osteoporosis, better digestion, more energy, and a radiant skin. Fourth incentive, think about your children's health and how our diet is impacting the planet. Watch documentaries and stay on top of the news about animal health and environment. The list of good and lightning films is growing as people are realizing the impact that this massacre is having on our health and our planet. Important films to watch are Cowspiracy, The Eleventh Hour, Forks Over Knives, Genetic Roulette, Food Inc., Super Size Me, Food Matters, Hungry for Change, King Corn, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead, Vegucated, Farmageddon, Food Fight, Extinction Soup, Got Milk, Symphony of the Soil, and Plant Pure Nation, just to name a few. And lastly, five. Do you think you won't be able to resist meat temptation again? You don't have to beat up yourself over a small backsliding, and you don't have to go <clears throat> cold turkey right away. Some start with Meatless Mondays. Uh, many people have success with Mark Pittman's Vegan Until Six, Other are adopting a vegetarian diet on the week and omnivore diets on weekends. Go at your own pace. If you and your family enjoy meat, you might just want to consider starting by going meat-free one or two days a week. This way you can start to make creative experiments. Learning how to cook meat, egg and dairy-free is a process, but... The time you spend experimenting in your kitchen is an opportunity to better your health. After all, cooking is an art, but mostly is an act of pure love. As Sir Paul McCartney stated, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, everybody would be vegetarian. It is time for us to be kinder towards animals, but mostly towards Mother Earth. And the beauty of adopting a more plant-based diet is that changes occur really really fast. One can even revert chronic illnesses. What Mother Earth produces is not only delicious but healing. Try it. Try it today. Start making little substitutions one day at a time and tell me how did it go. 
Well, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please share it, subscribe, like it, etc. So you keep on getting the following videos. Until then, keep on taking care of your precious temple. Bye.